Have you ever noticed your vision getting blurry at certain times in your life? Maybe during pregnancy or menopause. You're not imagining it. Welcome to today's video. I'm Dr. Aisha Butt. Thanks for tuning into our channel. Estrogen and other hormones play a major role in eye health, influencing everything from dryness to how clearly you see. In this video, we'll dive into the surprising link between hormones and vision changes, exploring how pregnancy, menopause, and aging can impact your eyesight. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Today, we're talking about an important but often overlooked topic, how hormones affect your vision. If you've ever noticed changes in your eyesight during pregnancy, menopause, or even certain times of the month, you're not imagining it. Hormones play a huge role in eye health, and I'm here to break it down for you. Our bodies rely on a delicate balance of hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. These hormones regulate everything from metabolism to mood, and yes, even your eyes. When levels fluctuate, whether due to menstrual cycles, pregnancy, menopause, or medical conditions, they can cause noticeable changes in your vision and eye comfort. So let's talk about some of the common eye issues caused by hormonal shifts. The number one is blurry vision and prescription changes. Estrogen and progesterone influence the shape of your cornea and how light is focused in your eyes. High estrogen levels, such as during pregnancy or hormone therapy, can cause temporary swelling in the cornea, leading to slight prescription changes. Some women may feel that their glasses or contact lenses don't work as well during these times. But the good news is that most changes are temporary. Number two, dry eyes and irritation. Dry eye syndrome is one of the most common complaints linked to hormones, especially during menopause. Estrogen and testosterone help regulate tear production. So when levels drop, as they do with aging, you may experience dryness, irritation, and gritty sensation in your eyes. Women going through menopause or taking birth control pills are particularly prone to this issue. Number three, increased risk of other eye conditions due to certain other hormones. Hormonal fluctuations can also contribute to a higher risk of certain eye conditions. For example, changes in estrogen level may increase the risk of conditions like glaucoma. Similarly, individuals with thyroid imbalances, which is another related hormone, can develop bulging eyes, double vision, or even difficulty focusing. Let me focus a little bit more on puberty and eye health. So we talked about a lot of hormonal changes during pregnancy, menopause, and even thyroid conditions, but what about those young people going through hormonal changes during their puberty? Let me focus a little bit more on that and eye health. Can this be more than just acne? We all know that puberty brings a surge of hormones that can lead to acne and growth spurts. But did you know that these hormonal changes can also affect your eyes? Here are the three main things I notice on my kids going through these hormonal changes. Number one is increased oil production and style. Just like hormonal changes can make skin oilier, they can also affect the oil glands in your eyelids, known as the meibomian glands. This can lead to clogged glands, which may cause sty, those painful red bumps on the eyelids. They can also contribute to dry eye syndrome. Number two complaint is the contact lens discomfort. Teenagers who wear contact lenses may find that their lenses suddenly feel less comfortable during puberty. This is because increased oil production and tear film st instability can lead to irritation, making it harder for the lenses to stay moist. Number three is rapid prescription changes. Growth spurts don't just affect height. Puberty can also bring sudden shifts in vision. Many teenagers experience worsening nearsightedness or myopia during these years due to eye elongation, which is influenced by genetics and hormonal changes. This is why regular eye exams are essential during these growth spurts. So let's talk about what you can do to protect your eyes during these hormonal changes. The good news is that you don't have to just accept those changes. You can take proactive steps to protect your vision. Number one is stay hydrated and use artificial tears for your eyes. If you struggle with dryness, over-the-counter lubricating eye drops 
can provide relief. Number two, eating a balanced diet. Omega-3 fatty acids found in foods like salmon and flax seeds support healthy tear production. And last but not least, make sure you manage your hormonal health. If you are experiencing severe symptoms, talk to your healthcare provider about potential treatments, including hormone therapy or lifestyle changes. So how do I manage and treat those patients who are going through puberty and having conditions such as dye, oil glands, overproduction? The number one treatment is the lid hygiene. Regular cleansing with warm compresses and lid wipes can help prevent clogged oil glands, styes, and irritation. What do we do for dry eyes? So for those teenage kids where eyes feel dry and uncomfortable, I recommend preservative-free artificial tears that can be used with the contact lenses in the eye. The third problem, changing prescription. Since myopia or nearsightedness often progresses rapidly during puberty, regular eye exams are important. Treatments like myopia control, such as orthokeratology, atropine eye drops, or soft multifocal lenses such as my sight may help slow down the progression of myopia. So what about birth control pills and vision changes? Hormonal contraceptives such as pills, patches, implants contain synthetic estrogen and progesterone, which can impact your eye health. Some women experience dry eye symptoms, changes in corneal thickness, making contact lenses very uncomfortable. They can also experience slight changes in prescription. So what are some of the treatment options for these problems? Well, if you're having problems with your current birth control pill, switching to a different formulation can help. Some birth control options may have fewer effects on eye moisture and corneal changes, so please talk to your doctor. Secondly, omega-3 supplements and hydration is very important. Make sure you take omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil and flaxseed. It can help support tear production. Using artificial tears or prescription dry eye drops can absolutely help symptoms for dry eyes and allergies. In addition to supplements or omega-3s, artificial tears or prescription dry eye drops can definitely help. If symptoms persist with artificial tears, medications such as Zydra or Restasis can be prescribed to help manage menopause and hormone replacement therapy patients. Menopause leads to a sharp decline in estrogen and androgens, often worsening dry eye disease due to reduced tear production and oil gland dysfunction. So especially those women who are on hormone replacement therapy or HRT, please speak to your doctors if you're experiencing wearing side effects. Some HRT may include estrogen only, whereas others include progesterone as well. Every patient is different, so please speak to your provider if you're having adverse events. Some of the treatment options include testosterone eye drops or creams. Androgens play a crucial role in maintaining meibomian gland functions. Compounded testosterone eye drops or topical testosterone creams applied directly to the eyelids can improve oil production and reduce evaporated dry eyes. I love punctal plugs as well. Small silicone plugs that are inserted into the tear duct help retain moisture in your eyes by improving the quantity of your own tears. We also offer in-office dry eye treatments such as tear care for meibomian gland dysfunction, intense pulse light therapy that reduces inflammation and stimulates oil production on the skin around your eyes. Another one is radiofrequency treatments. These help improve meibomian gland functions. That's a lot about women. What about those men with androgen deficiency? Those men can have severe dry eye syndrome. Testosterone plays an important role in tear glands and oil gland function. Dry, irritated eyes, increased risk of meibomian gland dysfunction, vision fluctuations. So what are some of the treatment options for these patients? Testosterone replacement therapy, or TRT, can improve overall symptoms, but it's important to monitor eye health closely. Compounded testosterone ophthalmic drops can also be prescribed to help restore tear film stability and improve dry eye symptoms. What are some of the other treatments? Warm compresses and eyelid massage helps maintain oil gland function. Omega-3 fatty acids and hydration supports tear production and reduces inflammation. Hormonal changes affect more than just mood and metabolism. They also play a critical role in eye health. Whether it's puberty, birth control, menopause, or androgen deficiency, Understanding these connections 
allow for better management of vision and eye comfort. So if you're experiencing persistent dry eyes, blurry vision or discomfort, speak to your eye doctor about tailored treatments. These treatments may include options such as testosterone eye drops, in-office dry eye therapies, and personalized prescription management. Understanding the connection between hormones and eye health is the first step towards managing these changes effectively. If you have been experiencing dry eyes, blurry vision, or other symptoms that seem to come and go with hormonal shifts, don't ignore them. Regular eye exams can help detect and address those changes early on. Thanks for tuning in and exploring the fascinating connection between hormones and vision changes with me today. As we have seen, hormonal fluctuations during key life stages like puberty, pregnancy, and menopause can have a profound impact on our eye health, from blurry vision to dry eyes and even prescription changes. It's crucial to recognize that estrogen and progesterone don't just affect our mood and energy. They can also influence how clearly we see the world around us. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights on eye health and wellness. And if you're experiencing any vision changes or suspect your hormones might be at play, be sure to talk to your eye care professional. Remember, early detection and proactive care can make all the difference in preserving your vision. Have questions or experiences you would like to share? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care of your eyes and see you in the next video.